Christina Aragon just wrapped up her fifth year at Stanford University with her seventh All-American finish between cross country and indoor and outdoor track and field. Now Aragon has been decompressing since the NCAA national meet, but she says she'll be back in Palo Alto for year six. Uh, this past year was weird with COVID, so I now have a full sixth year as well, and I've decided to come back and actually take that sixth year. So next year I'll be returning to Stanford and um, be able to run all three seasons. I have um, cross country, indoor, and outdoor. It's been a roller coaster career for Aragon at Stanford as she's battled numerous stress injuries to her feet and hip. Couple those challenging injuries with physical maturation, and Aragon has had to step back and reassess her training. As a high schooler, I think I kind of had a mindset that was more like grind all the time and like push through things and like you can just, you know, just push your body to the brink and like that's how you're good. Um, and I think you get older and you learn that your body is not invincible and that grinding all the time actually isn't totally sustainable. And I had to have a lot of growth there and like learn that it's, it's okay and it's very good to take easy days and just like not every day has to be your 100% max effort like it's important to have those days where you give yourself both a physical and a mental break. Aragon got to take in the Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon as a spectator watching her older sister Danny run in the 1500. Christina got to soak in the atmosphere and the experience as a fan but she's eyeing a chance to compete in the Olympic trials in 2024. I would like to run in the Olympic trials again and definitely like being out there watching my sister um, did kind of like spark some more excitement for me. I think like, you know, everything ebbs and flows with how you're feeling about, you know, running with injury um, and everything like that. But it was really special to be out there and see my sister and see my teammates out there running really well. Um, um, and like just the other women who a lot of them I have raced in the past and just like a lot of people that you know and are connected to and like seeing everyone do so well and be so excited. Like that's always something that um, it's very motivated. For now, Aragon will focus on finishing up her degree in human biology with hopes of going into a career in the medical field, though she says med school can wait for a couple years. Stepping back from academics briefly will give Aragon a chance to test out the professional running ranks should that opportunity arise. But I'm hoping in the, in the few years between um, like finishing my undergrad and going back to school, I can that would maybe be the time where I would run professionally a little bit. Um, but either way, whether I run professionally, I definitely don't want to go straight into school. So I'm hoping to use that kind of time to, to experiment a little bit, like maybe do like be a physical therapy assistant or something like that, where I can kind of get a feel for some of the professions that I'd be interested in and start to like narrow down exactly my choices between that. But I know something associated with working closely with people and anatomy and physiology, I think. Aragon will be chasing down more accolades next season at Stanford, beginning with cross country in the fall. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.